happy Friday everyone. Uh, we've got background noise here from the uh, geese and the swans. In the background I don't know whether you can see a gentleman has just got in the lake there and he is paddle boarding. I followed him down to the lake this morning and he just got in just uh, just at the side of me to go paddle boarding. What an amazing day it is as well. It's beautiful. We've got snow on the fells in the background and it's beautiful. So we're live from Bowness on Windermere and it is hashtag FAQ Friday again. Now this week I have been inundated with questions about the coronavirus. What, to, what can we do in our businesses to keep safe and uh, who's responsible for doing that? Well, of all our health and safety, we're all responsible. So I've got some top tips, obviously. Um, you need to keep an eye on the government website because there's live updates all the time on there. And if you've got any worries, certainly contact them. There's, there is a form on there. And um, so first of all, it is our responsibility. We are responsible for our customers, our teams and our business to make sure that we're all safe and well, okay? So things to look out for are on the government website, so I don't really want to spend much time on, on that, but what I want to spend time on this morning is actually just uh, giving you top tips what to do. So make sure at all exit, uh, access and exit points, you have a sanitizer. That's vitally important and, and actively get people to use it um, it takes 20 seconds to wash your hands in soap and water. Um, make sure you've got your teams in a schedule that they're doing it regularly and in between not to touch their face at all uh, if they've touched any surfaces. Put a cleaning schedule in as well for all, all high traffic areas, but all areas really, uh, so using sanitising products rather than um, and any product soap and water does work but i would definitely use sanitizing products on on your high traffic areas but in in all areas places where people touch like the door handles um the tables the chairs etc where people touch because if somebody sneezes or they put the hand on any infected areas that's where it's being picked up and as soon as you put your hand to your mouth uh, or nose or your eyes that's where it's being contracted um what I would do as well is make sure you have clarity and communication. Train your teams in what to say and what to do and use your clarity and communication that you are actively being a beacon of looking after your, your team, your guests and your business because people are more likely to come and visit you rather than be the one who's completely ignoring it and end up being the quarantined business or, or shut down or, or whatever. Uh, with it so they are my top tips uh, they're just quick top tips this this morning and uh, but just stay safe everybody and uh, look after yourselves look after your teams look after your guests and be the beacon of uh, promoting that we are actually being actively proactive not reactive okay that's a big big plus so be positive proactive not reactive Okay, have a great time. Have a word with um, any businesses that are in your vicinity who haven't got the sanitising uh, points at the access and exits because that is really important and actively, you know, um, people, people are more likely to be looking for it now. I do, without even thinking. And I'm quite shocked when nobody's, you know, not many people have got it out there. Lots are doing great things and some are, are just ignoring it. So be the beacon. Have a good day and have a great weekend. Take care. Bye-bye.